Hi everyone. So anyone in the group that has seen my posts about this mystery painting knows my struggle that I've been going with with a bunch of same the same color and huge areas. So I just uncovered this one here. And of course, it's a bunch of the same colors. So we're going to mess around with some multi-drills, or multi-placers, I should say. I have all my colors here. Then this is, I found this somewhere. I'm gonna use this as a straight edge. I also have my tweezers to help me correct some stuff if I mess up. And I have noticed that this tray works better if I'm doing a big multi-placer. I don't even know how I got that, but. So, this canvas. <laughs> I have no idea what it is, but it sure has been a pain in the butt. I have a huge wrinkle going all the way, all the way down the middle. It's insane. This is what I was debating on, like if I should iron it or not. So I may try to do that. I don't know. Should be fun. But if I peek at like the next section, look at all those T's. I'm going to have T's for days. Ugh. It's going to be fun. Don't mind my Clorox wipes. That's the only way I could figure out how to prop the phone. I have a monitor arm coming. I bought it off Prime Day. So I'm just going to demonstrate some tricks I found because I, I did quite a bit of these multi-tools on this one canvas. So this particular color T, I don't know why, but there's a lot of bad drills in it. There's always some random oranges and a bunch of them that are always grouped together. But I do love this tray because it has the the bigger ridges. So it shakes out faster. You already got an orange one in there. So I have some extra trays here. I'm just going to get those bad ones out real quick. It almost looks like it was fried. I don't know if you can see it on there. you see that? I don't think so. Anyway, it's orange. And so, oh, that's lovely. I don't even know what to call this thing. Yeah, this color has just been, <laughs> it's been a lot of fun. Here's some that are stuck together. And then if I get enough of those, I'll also show how I separate those. This one has a nice little dot in there, so we're going to get rid of that one. More that are stuck together. So I just like to weed out the bad ones first because it, it helps me place even lines, I've noticed. Um, and again, I'm not like a super diamond painting professional or anything. So I'm always looking for new, tri new tips and tricks and stuff. Um, this is just what I have found works. Let's see if we can get some lines now. Look at those beautiful lines. Okay, so now how I do it, and again, if there's an easier way, I just don't know what it is. Now I like to go row by row, and like I'll do six. So I make sure there's six there. Seven. So I kind of prepare my rows first. That way I can make sure everything's lined up and I don't have to do nearly as much adjusting after I place them. And I have noticed I have to kind of do it at an angle because these ridges are so big that like it wouldn't be a straight line if I didn't have it at an angle. Mm 
Oh, well, that one just didn't want to stay there. Okay, so I have a few straight lines here. So now we're going to just place them. Mm, I don't know if I can put this to where you can see it. That'll be good. So another thing that I've noticed if I'm doing a six placer, I would like to get one that's bigger than that. So I think this one's probably meant for nine, but I like to use the bigger one for less only because it leaves some a gap here and there so you can line it up with drills that are already there without moving them by mistake. Um, so this is the part like to be successful with a straight line I've noticed anyway you have to like go in the middle of it and just do it in one quick motion like don't hesitate and then you see how there's gaps on each end that just helps you to place over the diamonds that are already there so I can go over without messing a bunch of stuff up and then you just rock and if they don't go correctly, I have this drill pen here, which is just the standard one. I don't have any wax in it though. And that's only because I don't really want the diamonds to come with me. I just want to move them. So like, that's a pretty good line. So since I already have these prepared, I just go on to the next one. And I personally like to skip lines. It just helps me keep it neat because I can see the dark lines on the canvas on both ends. And I've almost noticed I get less gaps when I do this multi-tool. And I did just buy an accessories kit. Oh, that one didn't have six in it. I did just buy an accessories kit off of that Amazon Prime. And the accessories kit that I just bought comes with the wheel. So I am excited to give that a try. I know I've seen a lot of people saying they can't, it's too hard to control and what have you, but I just thought I'd give it a try. It came with the accessory kit, so why not? Like this one's stuck on there. Oh, that one's just not gonna place. Whatever. But I've had to do this so much with this canvas. It, it's it been driving me absolutely bonkers. You know, it'd be different if I knew I was doing a picture that was amazing. Like if I knew it was gonna be coming out epic, I wouldn't care as much. I have no idea what this picture is. So it drives me crazy. Cause what if it's something completely lame and I've done all this headache <laughs> for something totally lame. Like that one I really butchered. That one was pretty crooked, but I think another trick is when you place it down and you do the rocking motion, like don't press too hard. Cause if, if you lightly press, they're easier to manipulate, you know, after the fact. Um, but why I like to skip the lines is because now I can come back in between. And you kind of hear that, that click that everyone loves so much. And that's pretty uneven. That's another thing that I've noticed about square drills. Like somebody said, what's the difference? Like, I'll tell you the difference. Uh, in my personal opinion, I think square drills, the ending looks better, but only really from close up. Like if you're doing a custom with a lot of detail, I would always recommend doing a square drill. But if you're just doing like, I don't know, a cartoon kind of picture, there's just, there's no need to go through the hassle with square drills, unless you just like working with them more. But as far as quality, I don't think square versus round is a big deal with those kinds of pictures. Now, if you're doing a super detailed one, always, only because there's no gaps in squares. With circles, there's always gonna be little gaps. So I, I just feel like you get more detail um, in the sense of being complete out of squares. Um, but this is how I've basically been doing this entire canvas. I got another one that's stuck. 
And from the looks of it, from looking ahead, <laughs> it looks like I have a lot more ahead of me. Like, I have no idea what portion I'm working on. Oh, and like this part up here is the top. Like, I'll take another picture. I'll back up in a minute just so you guys could see. But the area that I posted pictures of, I'm working from the top a couple sections over. And then I'm going to go down and then go back up top. I don't really know. I've, I've been trying different ways of starting new projects. But I thought, I know with this one, I have to figure out how to roll. Oh, I just messed that pickup up. So you can't hesitate or they all gap. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I've been trying different ways, like when, where to start. You know, I've heard people say they like starting from the top to the bottom. Some people like to start from the bottom. You know, I don't, I don't really know if there's a big difference. I don't think it matters. Some people say their reasoning is they don't want to lean on it. I can't get those to the post. This orange thing is just not doing it for me today. I don't think I'm going to try this this pink one next, which is basically, I think this is a six placer. And like I said, I just like to line them up first because I get way less gaps that way. And with this one, I like to do five. That's right. So for the six placer, I do one less. That way, like I said, I can get a gap in between. Like the ends, like a little bit of gap left over. So I'm just gonna try to get it in the middle as best as I can. And then you kind of push, you know, towards the sides of your tray. And it's got a nice line there. I don't know, it just makes it a lot easier for me anyway. And then since I have that gap there, I was able to go like over the one below it, which helps line it up. I don't know why I tapped it. I talk to my diamond painting sometimes too. Like, you better behave. Or name the symbols if you get the weird symbols. <laughs> you say, come over here. And I think somebody posted the other day, the, the boobies are looking at me. <laughs> that one was funny. Yep, well that was my life. I just wanted to share that with you guys. And when I get the wheel too, I'll, I'll also I'll try to go live with the wheel and give it a try. Um, but after you place the squares, I don't know why, it's just really hard to push it back down. It's almost like you have to lift it up. And since I don't have any wax in this one, it makes it a little bit easier. Just getting them to stay is the hard part. But if you lay more on top of it, then they won't move. So like, let me try to take this one and then I'll just go this way this time. And it's a little better. So like if you're getting it to where you try to move it and then it keeps bouncing back. Uh, try to like move it and then get another piece real quick and then put it towards the direction you're not wanting that one piece to go. It kind of helps keep them in place because I feel like these canvases, the adhesive is kind of like a memory thing. You put it down once and then it's hard to adjust it. It's like another reason why you want, if you're doing a multi-placer, I've noticed you, you'd want to lay it, you know, as, as soft as possible, you know, with getting it to stick. That way you can you can move it easier. And it's not too shabby. And I try to get a bunch on this one. I usually don't have luck if I get more on this specific tip. 
How many do I have? Zero, three. So this is six on here. So you can also just make them float. So I just like to line up the one at the top of my pen with like the corner and then try to line up the bottom. Nice straight line. No problems, that one was a good set. I am excited to try the wheel. Has anyone else tried the wheel? That's gonna be fun. I know somebody was asking, how does the wheel work? And I, I watched a YouTube video about the wheel. And it, it looks like it's just a regular wheel that you hold. And it comes with double-sided tape, I think. And so then you just, you put the tape on the wheel, then you remove the top layer. And then I guess it just rolls on, I don't know. I gotta try it. It looked pretty neat on the video, but I mean, I don't, I can't say whether it'd be easier to, easy to handle or not, because I've never used it, but. I know I'm definitely already sick of these dang teas. It's like so many of them. Like, what could this possibly be? It's like gonna be some sky or um I don't know what it is. Some blue array. Like I don't even have any guesses. Maybe the sky would be my only guess. So like I don't even care about the gaps at the at each end when I'm just making them float. Just try to line it up with one end and try to end on the right one with the other end. But our group is getting bigger, which is really cool. I love seeing your guys' posts. It makes me so happy. And everyone's like, they like that it's not, you know, I don't want to say not censored, but like we don't, we don't care what you post, really. <laughs> you know, just use common sense I guess but it doesn't have to be from a particular place and like if you have a bad experience with the company you know voice it you know we want to know save us from that bad experience it's nothing like that you can recommend any products not from a specific store it's just really great I'm I'm really happy that everyone's you know getting along and sharing their stuff and I hope that we can do like more events once it grows a little bit more you know, tell your friends, share it in other diamond painting groups that you're in. You know, the bigger community we get, the more work we get to see, you know. You know, maybe other people have tips and tricks out there, and yeah, that'd be cool. I like watching these kinds of YouTube videos or just watching people diamond paint and talk. So that's what I thought that I would try. I'm, I'm an aspiring YouTuber. Like, maybe someday. I have the arm coming. That'll be fun. That's like a little mount so I don't have to use this this Clorox bottle here to <laughs> to talk to you guys. I'm gonna put this one. There's just so many options here. I don't know. I'm gonna try to go live with the group every once in a while. I know I have um, that diamond painting I had finished a while ago. I only sealed it once, so I will try to do a live of me doing the second coat of that one because I know some people had questions about how to seal it and might have been successful so far. I think I just seal it with the, um, the Mod Podge gloss stuff, but I use like the wipe the surface method and you just have to see it, but it works. And the gloss kind of Mod Podge makes it, I swear, almost even more shinier than it was without it. And then I, I just went to Joann's and bought that those Mod Podge brushes. So I'm excited to give those a try anyway. Oh, that one was a bad one. Mm, that's better. Like, I'm getting so sick of the same color that I'm considering going back to my custom for a little bit. 
but I know the person that sent me this is going to be like, hey, how, how are you doing? You know? Got any guesses yet? Like, no, lady. I don't. Is your favorite color freaking blue? I don't It's almost like a sea foam blue. But like, I, n I always complain about like the confetti. Confetti's hard too, you know? But I don't think, this isn't hard per se. It's just, God, incredibly boring. And you know how when you do those confettis, even if it is a bunch and it's annoying, whatever, at least you get to see a picture coming along. You know, like that makes it kind of interesting. Like seeing it develop. This is just a, Bunch of blue. That's all it is. And I think that's why it's just, ooh, it's burning me out. But hopefully it gets more interesting. <laughs> I mean, at some point, it can't just be one giant picture of blue. I'm just, I'm just ready for it to be interesting. But this is the biggest one I think I've done. Which is crazy, because I don't even know what it is. No, that one did not go on straight at all. So I have noticed too, when you're trying to correct the dr square drills that you've placed, if you over correct it, like by a ton, like almost remove it from where you set it down completely, that's the only way you're gonna get it to stay wherever you're trying to adjust it to. Just because this adhesive is just has that memory crap in it that makes it just impossible. But I did notice too when I was going live, like I said, I, this is my second time going live. The first time going live was in this group, but I did notice where I could invite a friend. I don't know if any of you guys have done Facebook Lives before. And I'm kind of curious what that's all about. Because we were talking about doing something to where we do like a diamond paint along. Where, I don't know, whoever wants to participate, we all get the same picture. So maybe we could do live sessions of just this diamond painting. Was that Netflix and chill? This, is, this would be diamond painting and chill. I'm sure two different concepts, but you catch my drift. I think that'd be fun. I just like doing it so much, I do. And I'm off every Tuesday. And it's the only time that my kids don't drive me absolutely bonkers. I'm just kidding, I love them, they're good kids. They just drive me absolutely bonkers. The 12 year old is home right now. My 12 year old stepson. And he just, God, he eats a lot of food. He eats all day. Like, I think we bought a box of Pop Tarts on Sunday. And the four year old wanted a Pop Tart. Those suckers are gone. He's not even a fat kid. Just he does hungry. I oh, see. I'm already ready for a break. I'm so sick of this color. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and end it here. Um, I think I've talked about everything I want to talk about. So I'll try to come back on once I get my wheel on, or once I get my wheel on, once I get my wheel in the mail, I'm going to try it out a couple times, um, and then I'll try to go live with me using it, um, but again, I don't know how that's going to go, I haven't seen it in action other than, like, on YouTube, so we'll see, oh great, I just dropped one, alright, well, I am signing off now. I uh, hope you guys have a fun day diamond painting and doing whatever it is that you're doing. And all those new members, thank you so much for joining the group. And I look forward to seeing what everyone's working on and 
you know, feel free to ask any questions or about pretty much anything. We got a nice group of people. Sounds like everyone's pretty knowledgeable about, like there's somebody in this group that knows the answer to the question. So, you know, don't, don't be afraid to post anything you're having trouble with or anything you had concerns about or, I don't know, if you want to just know if there's an easier way to do something, just, just post it, you know? Our group is growing, so there's always going to be someone more than likely that has ex either experienced the same thing or knows how to fix it, so. Alright, I until next time, guys. Bye!